We're going to pick up from the last class. We talked about marfu'at. Everybody remember these, right? Yes. And everybody's memorized them. Yes. Right? Right? You can draw them out for me when I'm going to erase this, right? All right, good. I'm not going to do it. But next class, I'm, I'm going to call on anybody at random to draw this chart out. So you better know it. Marfu'at. What makes an ism marfu'? We talk about marfu'at, mansubat, majurat, tawabi'. But we're going to memorize all of these, insha'Allah. The first thing we talked about is al-mubtada. What is al-mubtada? Subject. The subject. Excellent. That, it's an ism. It's at the beginning, usually, of a jumla. Ismiya. Excellent. Then you have khabar. What is the khabar? The predicate or the news, and that is an ism usually in the second half of a jumla. Then we have a fa'il. What is the fa'il? The actor or the doer, the one who does an action, who does a verb. So a fa'il is going to be somebody or something that does something, right? And it's going to be more force. It's going to have a dhamma or dhamma tain or the other alamat of rafa. Then we talked about khabar inna. Ism inna is mansub, but it's actually maftuh and has a fatha, even though it's not really mansub. And khabar inna is marfu. Ism kana is marfu. We discussed those two. And then the naib an al fa'il. The naib fa'il, when it's a maf'ul bihi, when it takes the place of a fa'il, when the fa'il is mahduf, it's hidden. If, I didn't, if you didn't understand any of that, don't worry. We're going to hit this, inshallah, until you do. Tayyip, khabar has many types. Al-Muqtada, for now, is just an ism. Even though later on we'll break that rule. But right now it's just one word and it'll be the beginning word. Right? Al-Khabar has many types. And I'm going to break it up a little bit differently than I did in the last class. So pay attention. One is Al-Khabar Al-Mufrad. Sayyid, what is Khabar Al-Mufrad when it's just one word? Right? If I said Al-Ilmun Nafi'a. Sayyid, so what am I saying? The knowledge, Al-Ilm, that is beneficial. Now, what is your Mubtada? Ilm. Right? And what is your Khabar? Nafi'a. Now, why didn't I say ilmun nafi'un? Why did I say al ilm nafi'un? Yes, Abdurrahman. Because I know you yes. know. With the mutada al khabar, one is ma'rifah and one is nafi'un. Yes, they have to be switched, otherwise, it would be sifa mosuf, right? Tayyip. So, khabar mufraz is when it's just a word, one single word, giving us the news about the, about the subject. Everybody good with that? But khabar can be more than one type. Um, khabar can be an entire jumla. Al khabar that is al jumla. Jumla means sentence. So your khabar can be an entire sentence. And in that, there are going to be two types. Right? Because there's two types of complete jumal, right? Yes. Which is? Khabar is of, jumla is of what type? So khabar, jumla, Ismiya and Khabar Jumla. What is it? Fa'liya. And Khabar can also be of another type.
which is where it's going to be khabar a shibh jumla shibh jumla that which is like a jumla but not a complete jumla and we'll talk about shibh jumla inshallah coming up but now we're going to have some fun we're going to look at actual ayat from the Quran and you guys are going to tell me the meanings and you're going to make arab of them you're going to actually tell me about the grammar of them tell you i'm going to pick on some of the more advanced students first inshallah tell you who wants to read the first ayah for me all right everybody go ahead dursa rijalu qawamun tell you it's from the quran surah an-nisa rijalu qawamun ala an-nisa right everybody loves this ayah <laughs> wait till you and really understand it Uh, tell you now make an arab of this for me what do you think what okay first thing what do you think it means close meaning it's okay you're not you're not making your own translation of the quran you're not a mufassir we're just trying to understand what does rijal mean men ar rijal yani the men qawamun what does it mean hmm qama they are but here the meaning of being in charge or caretakers or responsible for or an authority over qawamun ala nisa on women right tell you but now when we look at this part of the aya ala nisa is jar majrur it's just going to be mutaallik but here what do you think first thing we know there's two types of jumal right mm-hmm. two types of sentences right abdul mateen two types right Jumla ismiya and jumla fi'liya ismiya begins with an ism and fi'liya begins with a okay so then it should be easy for ramis to tell me what type of jumla is this ismiya ismiya excellent you got that right now the jumla ismiya must have two things they're both on this board so i don't think it should be too difficult yeah muttada khabar muttada khabar excellent so let's make arab here Where is your mubtada? Right there. Right there. <laughs> I think I was already right here. Al mubtada is it marfu' mansub majrur marfu' marfu' excellent al mubtada marfu' How did you know it was marfu' Excellent the dhamma on the lam so alamat al raf'ihi al dhamma al zahira what does that mean it means and i want you to write this because when i give you ayat to make arab of then you're going to have to write like this al mubtada that means this is the subject everybody with me i do i think you got lost here i'm with you you with me abdul rahman good you with me amar what does it say al mubtada you can read it you got to change those glasses bro al mubtada yani the subject marfu' it is and in a halat of raf' it's marfu' alamat al raf'ih how do you know it's marfu' بالضمه الظاهره a clear ضمه right and this is a little advanced but I'm, i'm breaking you guys in because it's not always going to be a clear ضمه or ضمتين or those things to show that a hal- that is in a condition of being marfu but here it is tayyib so we got al mubtada what else do we need ramis we need the khabar where is your khabar oh no Qawamun? You sure? Yeah. All right. If you say so, I'll, I'm going with it. This is your khabar. Tayyib. What state is it in? What does khabar have to be? Supposed to be my full bed. That's my what? Is it my full? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> is that my soup? Is it my soup? 
This is Marfo. As your first instinct told you. And the Alama of Rafa. Here, Rafa'ihi is what? Wow. 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 Noon? What happened when you were seven years of Nahu, man? Seven years of Nahu is only when you're expecting. <laughs> Come on, where are my students at? Fatha? You're not my student anymore. <laughs> wow! Wow! Because he is a good Wow. As we studied in a, we haven't studied in this class, so all you new students, you're off the hook. But in the earlier classes, as we studied Jama Mudakkar Salim, when you have Jama Mudakkar Salim, Then it's marfu bil wow. This wow tells you it's marfu. Like when you see Muslimun and then you see Muslimin. Right? So in that case, if it was marfu, it would be Muslimun. If it was majroor, it could be Muslimin. Right? So the wow is not the only thing that shows rough. The dhamma is not the only thing. I'm only introducing you to this, we're going to hit this hard. But for the more advanced students, you guys should already know this. Especially if you were in my old class. Tayyip. We got that. Now, let's look at the second ayah. And this is from the Quran as well. Uh, this first one is the 34th ayah of Surah Al-Nisa. Now, we're doing Rabbukum A'lamu. Surah Al-Isra, the 25th ayah. Tayyip. Who's going to make A'rab of this for me? Somebody new, brave, able. Rahman. Omar, how are your glasses doing? Good? Can you see now? Yeah. I can see that too. Alright, let's hit, hit the A'rab. Tell me, what do you think? Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya, excellent. That is correct because it begins with Rab, which is an Ism. Tayyip, what else? Where is your Muqtada? Usama, you're brave. Yeah, the one in red is What? <laughs> <laughs> brave doesn't mean intelligent. Okay, next. Where is, where, where is your Muqtada? Rabbu is your Muqtada, not Kum. Kum is a Damir. Rab here is your Muqtada. And it is what? It is? Marfu. Excellent. What is the alamat al raf? Excellent. Al dhamma. Kum dhamir ghaib? Al dhahira. Limada ghaib? Lam tara al dhamma? Ala, kum hu al-dameer. Laysa fi al-mubtada. Yani, fi bayna al-ayat, fiha jar majroor, mudaf, mudaf ilayhi, dama'ir. Lakin al-rab huna, hu al-mubtada. Sayyib? Wa al-marfu' bil-dhamma al-zahira. Sayyib? I mean, kum is talking about dhamir ghaib here, or not? Just this question. Is kum here talking about dhamir ghaib? No, dhamir is there. Why would it be ghaib? The one who is talking about is not here. Rabbukum, nahnu. Tayyib, no, no, no. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to us in the Quran, we are not ghaib. Yani, it's not mutakallim. Sah. But it is speaking to all of us. Yani, nahnu. Tayyib. So this is now like if you say Rabbuka, 
هذا متكلم ربكم الجمعة لنا ليس الغائب ربهم هو الغائب صح؟ طيب هيرت متكلم الدمير المتكلم ربو the lord come yours طيب اعلموا here now we got the مبتدأ I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna guess that this is the خبر طيب but tell me about the خبر now الخبر what مرفوع what is the علامة الرفع excellent So these are both what types of khabar? Mufraj. Excellent. So al khabar here is Mufraj. And what about here? Al khabar is what type? Mufraj. Again, tayyib. So this is giving you some practice from the Quran itself for one type of khabar and the reason I'm taking it back to the Quran I'm finding these ayat because I want you to start implementing your Arabic to the Quran I don't really care if you can go to a coffee shop and order a coffee or go to a tailor and order a thawb, um, you know but I really do want you to go back to the Quran now and try to yourself find khabar mufrad khabar jumla ismiya khabar jumla fi'liya khabar shabha jumla so you can start getting practice and understanding the Quran better. Tayyib. And everybody got the meaning, right? Rijal. What did Rijal mean? Men. Masla? Men. Qawwamun? Caretakers. Caretakers. Responsible. Tayyib. Rabbukum? Your Lord? A'lamu. From Alama, right? Knows. A'lamu, yani knows best, right? أفعلوا. طيب. So here it tells us that Allah knows best. Your Rabb knows best. So this is your subject and this is the news you're getting about your subject. طيب. The next ayah. Arun. You're in glasses, right? You're good. It's better to reconcile. Excellent. Reconciliation is better. Wonderful. Now you got the meaning. Everybody got that? Abdul Mateen, you got it? Sulh, what does it mean? A sulh, to make sulh, to reconcile, to make peace, excellent. Khairun, what does it mean? Khair, khair, good, excellent, so you, in my negative zero student didn't even got it, so that means everybody else got it. So, to reconcile is better, meaning instead of fighting and doing all those kinds, it's better to bring peace, to reckon to reconcile. Tayyib. So, now, where is your Mubtada? <coughs> Anyone? Back couch, go ahead. Your Mubtada, where is your Mubtada? This is really easy. You just did this. Sulh. This is your? Mubtada. Is it Marfu, Mantu, Majru? Marfu. What is your alama? Alama to Rafihi is a dhamma a bahira. It's clearly stated, right? Yusuf, where's your khabar? Khair, excellent. Woohoo, you're actually learning something. Is it marfu, mansu, majroor? Marfu. Marfu. What is your alamat al rafa? Excellent. Oh, you got a little fancy on me. We just call it a dhamma. Tayyip. Pretty easy so far, right? Everybody good? Yes. 
Everybody good? What's your name, brother? Habib. Habib? Allah, may Allah make you all of our Habib. Tayyip. Habib, you good? Yeah. All right. Dumatin, you good? <laughs> MashaAllah. All right. Hamza. Go for it. Excellent. Beautiful pronunciation. Now, go ahead. What does it mean? Verily Allah over... Verily Allah... Over everything? Is King right. over everything. Is upon everything Qadir. Yani able. able. Right. Qadir, Allah can overpower. He has the Qudra. He has the ability. He has the control over everything. There is nothing that is out of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's power or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's qudra or his ability to ordain or to make hukam on not going deep in there but everybody got the basic meaning right? Yes. you good? Harun you good? Amar you good? excellent make a arab of it for me Harun what is, is it jumla ismiya or fa'liya? you got this bro don't worry ismiya excellent there's no fa'il here so I think you're good now where is your mubtada? Allah. The ism or the love al jalala. When we talk about the word Allah, we call it love al jalala. We don't really say Allah is because out of respect. So this al mubtada is love al jalala. Is it marfu, mansub, majroor? What is it? Mansub. Hmm. Is it still Muqtada if it's Mansu? I don't know, you tell me, man. This is... I already discussed this last class. Ibrahim knows. We talked about Crips and Bloods and Inna and Kana. Oh, come on, how are you going to act like that, man? Oh, just to let you know, Crips are a gang. Uh, from like a long time ago. I think it's because he used to carry sticks. People call him cripple. This is his church gang. As another gang, I know you're kind of a foreigner and all that. So, Bloods is another gang. They usually wear red, Crips wear blue. Uh, except some wear green. But anyway, so Bloods are another gang and they kind of fight. So, anyway, so. I, I, I know you, you guys may not know this stuff. I was raised here, so I know this stuff. So, tell you. So, what's up with the, is the love to Jalala here? Is it Marfu or not? No, All right. Mansoor. How many people think it's Mansoor? Raise your hand. All right. How many think it's Marfu? Oh man, I'm like, you're really sure, huh? You got both hands up. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. How many think Marfu? Wow. Man, Musa and Amar. We got Usama now joining in. Habib's on that boat. You guys are right. This is actually Marfu. Why? Because oh, it's the Muqtada. Kind of? But it's Maftuh. Uh, Maftuh meaning it has a Fatha on it. But it's actually Marfu'. So it's Maftuh fi Mahal al Rafa. What does that mean? It means it's still the Muqtada. It's still in a condition where it's Marfu'. But it has a Fatha. Yes, that's true. Because we talked about Inna and Ikhwatiha. Anna is from the Akhwat, the sisters of Inna. And what does Inna? I forgot. Did I make Inna scripts or blood? I don't know which one I made. Crips. Crips? Were they Crips? Crips. Oh, come on, that's a pretty big confusion to make here. All right, so whatever they are, right? Let's call them Sureños and Norteños, all right? So, whatever Inna was. All right, you got that one? No, oh, I got that one. Masla. Man. Yeah, I know everybody else. You've been hanging out. I know. So, yeah, so, Anna, when it steps on the scene, it takes over and it makes it maftuh, it puts a fatha. But it's still the mubtada. It's still marfu, but it's got a fatha on it. Tayyip? Now, where is your khabar? Alright, so, what did you say? Go ahead. Who thinks kulli shay? No. Ibrahim, you're with that? Alright. Musa, you're with that too? Alright. Anybody with anything different? What happened? Qadir. Where is your khabar? Qadir. Qadir? Qadir. Qadir? Who's with Qadir? Alright, we're going to have a ride up in here in a minute. Alright. So, if we said, Allah, the, the love, Dhul Jalala, 
is the Mubtada. Wa ala kulli shay or kulli shay is your khabar. What does it tell you? Nothing. I said the whole thing. Ala kulli shay Ala kulli shay Alright. He's right. Qadir. This is your khabar. Your khabar is this Qadir. So if you said Allahu Qadirun, this would be enough. Ala kulli shay, this is this tafseel. This is additional information. It's giving you more, but in essence, <coughs> the actual sentence is this Allahu Qadirun. Now we added Anna Allah to go show emphasis. And then we added Ala kulli shay in to show tafseel, to explain further on everything. But if we had just said Allahu Qadirun, would that give you some information? Yes. 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 And Allah is modified. Has alif lam. Qadir is nakira. So this is mubtada khabar. So this would be al mubtada wal khabar by itself. Now this is jar majroor mutalik. Then we'll talk about mutalik bil and things. But this is and then shay in here is mudaf ilay for the mudaf of kul. But this is all additional. This is your khabar. Is it marfu or not? Yes. Yes. Four. Four. What is the Rafa? Actually, is Inna and Anna the same ruling? Yes. Anna and Inna are Ikhwat. And there's a lot of Ikhwat. We're going to cover all of them. You're going to memorize Inna and all her Ikhwat, Kana and all the Ikhwat, like we did in the other class. So, inshallah, you will know all of them. Now, all of the akhbar, jama'af al khabar, that we have dealt with right now have been what type? Mufrad. Right? I'm glad we recorded this. sometimes how did the Arab read the Quran when they had no nuqut, like they had no dots and they had no harakat, they had no fatha, dhamma, kasra, right? I mean, have you ever looked at the original Quran like the one from Uthman or the time that they still have? I can't read it, you know, I mean maybe if I know the surah I can kind of, you know, just read it from memory and pretend like I'm reading it, but it's hard to read. But I'm going to do something crazy right now, right? I'm going to make you guys put the harakat. And you beginning students of Arabic will be able to do it. I'll put the ones here. But the end, you're going to put it, and then you're going to tell me why you put what you put. Fadbalu, you like pain. Come on down. Yeah, I got you to get up out of the seat, move around. Shake it up a little bit. There you go, brother. Excellent. Excellent. Now, why? Just so you can be on video and be pro famous right. now. Allah, yeah, because Inna. Inna. Excellent. Inna. So it takes over. And this is your Mubtada? Yes. Excellent. Al Mubtada. Number four. This is your Khabar. This is your Khabar. Which one? Both. 
So here, this is your Muqtada, it is Marfu, but Maftuh Li'annahu Ism Inna It's because of the Fath It's because the Fath is there which means this Maftuh why? Because it's the ism of inna. Right? But it is fi mahal arrafa in the place of being marfu. Right? Because it's the mubtada. Now this is your khabar. And this is also your khabar. Although for your advanced students, you could make an argument that this is badal, but that's all different. Khabar. Marfu. Where is your alamat al rafa And this is your khabar thani. Khabar thani. Also, same thing. I just point it out. What does it mean? Dursa. Uh, Verily, Allah is forgiving and extremely forgiving. Let's take a little linguistic step back. What is the root word here? Rafara. <laughs> and what is the root word here? Rahama. <laughs> Tayyip. If somebody was to show, was to forgive somebody, right? Well, how would you make this ism five? Ghafir. <laughs> Allah is Ghafir al dunub right? And if somebody shows mercy, Rahim. But here, this is Ism Mubalagha, Ghafoor, Rahim, to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is extremely forgiving and extremely merciful. Tell you. This was Jumla of. Mufrad. Yes, there was two of them, but they were still Mufrad. Shibi Jumla, we'll discuss inshallah, it will either be Jar Majroor or Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. Tayyib. from the Quran. So this is now from Surah Al-Baqarah, the 255th ayah. You all should know already. Tayyip, what is the meaning here? First off, easy. Abdul Qadir, go for it. Allah? Easy. What does it mean? <laughs> Allah, there is no ilah except for Him. Right? Everybody got the meaning? Abdul Mateen, you got the meaning? Allah La ilaha There is no ilah, there is none worthy of worship Ilah means something that's worthy of, that has worship Except him Except him Or he meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So we're confirming Right? You got the meaning here? Everybody good? You good? 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 Alright Now where is, is it, Umar, is it Jumla Ismiya or Fi'liya? Yes, 
It's me. It's me. No, you were good. It's me. All right. So what does it begin with? Where is your muktada? Muktada or your subject is the love of Jalala. The word Allah is in marfu. No. How do you know? Because of the dhamma. Excellent. Alamat al rafi'ihi al dhamma al fahira. Excellent. Who said that? Who said that? Masla? Good job. Alright. Hey you, where, where is your khabar? The Jumla Islam yeah. must have what? Khabar. Where is your khabar? Ilaha. Ilaha? Ilaha. 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 Let's see some hands. Who says Ilaha is the khabar? Ilaha. Alright. We got Amar, Usama, Amar, Habib. I don't know your name. What's your name? Huh? Khalid? I just wanted to know who to embarrass later. Okay, so, who what was the other opinion here amongst the ulema and nahu here? What was the other opinion? Who? Did somebody say who? No? Illa? No other opinions? All of it. All of it. All of it. This whole thing is the khabar? Is that what you're saying? You're right. This whole thing is the khabar. Now, is it marfu? It is in a state of rough. But because it's not one word, it's not mufrat, you don't have to have a dhamma on it. Right? But what type of khabar is this? Ayyab? Jumla. Ismiya? Are you sure? Who thinks Jumla Ismiya? You are right. You didn't win anything, don't get too happy. Thank you. So for the knowledge. Yeah. Jumla ismiya. Al khabar now we're looking at a different type. Now it's no longer just mufrad. Now a whole sentence. Allah, the love of the Jalala, this is what the subject what we're talking about. And what are we telling you about it? We're not just telling you the Ghafoor, or Rahim, or Alamu. We're telling you, La ilaha illa huwa. That's the news that, that is being conveyed in this ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah. Or this part of this ayah. <coughs> Tayyip, so it's, it's Khabar, Al-Jumla, Al-Jumla, Ismiya. Excellent. Yes. Mufrad means what exactly? Mufrad means single. Like you used to be. <laughs> and Jama'a means plural, like you are. Tell you. Tell you. Everybody got this? Oh, yeah. Good, I'm glad you did. What's up? From Surah Al Ra'd, the 26th ayah. Who wants to take a shot? Jumla Ismiya. 
Jumla ismiya, excellent. What, what should I put as the Arab here? Adama. Yeah, that's right. Good job. This is your al -Muqtada. It is Oh, excellent. Excellent. And I want to rough it. Excellent. 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 Now, where's your cover? Yapsut? All of it? Jumla fa'liya khabar. Jumla fa'liya khabar. Taking it wild there. Jumla. Ismiya. Excellent. Where's your khabar? You tell me. <laughs> That's what I hear. I'm just, I'm just writing what I hear. Tell you. So we, we agreed that this whole thing is Jumla Ismiya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? So it can't be there's more than like khabar like. Mm. Alright, so we agreed also that the Lafdul Jalala is your Muftal. But we also know in Jumla Ismiya you have to have what, Yusuf? Fair. You have to have fair? Khabar. So we don't have a Khabar. Where is your Khabar? Is it? Just this? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? No, you tell me. Yeah. You're just guessing? Yabsutu is action. Yabsutu is an action. It's a fair, right? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? To stretch his hand. To stretch. to stretch or to extend, uh -huh. right? A risk is sustenance. Liman yasha, to whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills. Everybody got the meaning? Allah extends or opens up or gives. Risk, sustenance, provisions to whoever he wills. Okay? So we got the fact that this is a Jumla Ismiya, we got the Mubtada. Where is your Khabar? Abdurrahim thinks it's all of it, but I think Hammam has some Khilaf Bain al Alema. Hammam, <laughs> what do you think? So this Fa'il is your Khabar? I was thinking about risk. I, I think about risk all the time. Where do I go to work? <laughs> <laughs> it can't be risk because if you, if you say Allah risk. No. There's no khabar. Excellent. And also, <laughs> mansub. And there's no inna or anything to make it mansub. But we have only mansub, yabsuko, and yashat. <laughs> Where's your khabar? <laughs> your, this fail is your khabar? Khabar has to be ism. Right? <laughs> so the whole thing, that is the correct answer. Abdurrahim was right. I don't know if you learned that from my class, you're just a quick learner, mashallah. Either way, your khabar is al jumla al fa'liya. This whole thing is a jumla fa'liya. And this whole jumla fa'liya is your khabar. This is your fi'l. Your fi'l is here. And the ya, it points towards your fi'l. Risk is what? Sustenance. Maf'ul bihi. In, in grammar. I know it's sustenance. I already told you, Musa. Right? Jar, majroor, other fi'l. But this is your whole khabar. So now we have covered khabar as a mufrad. Khabar as a jumla. Ismiya. Khabar as a jumla fi'liya. Right? I wonder what's left. Can you say a whole sentence is jumla fi'liya? From yabsutu yeah. is all jumla fi'liya. There's your fi'l, there's your fa'il, the ya points towards it. So this whole jumla fi'liya is your khabar. But it's still ismiya with Allah. Ismiya, the, the whole, this whole jumla is ismiya. Yeah, okay. But the khabar itself is the jumla by itself. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Could Yabsutu Rizqa by itself be the Khabar Jumla Fi'liya? 
Could be. Could be, right? Yeah. Because you have your fi'l, your fa'il is there and your mafu'l be he, so that's fine. Right? I mean, yeah, if you take it that way, even yafsutu would be enough. Right? Huh? It yeah. is enough for information. Tell you. I'm trying to get too advanced here, bro. Take yeah. it easy. Now, this is a very, very easy, 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 easy one. Who has read this before? Everyone. Everyone. Every day. Part of Surah Al-Fatiha. Every time we read, make salah, you better be reading it. Say you. Alhamdu Lillah. All praise to Allah. Excellent. All praise exclusively due to Allah. We did tafsir of it already. Great. Now, everybody know the meaning, right? Abdul Mateen, you know the meaning? Alhamdu Lillah. You know the meaning or no? Alhamdulillah, mashallah, you said already. Alhamdulillah. Tell you. Now, how can we make a'rab of it? Is it the jumla fi'liya, Ibrahim, or jumla ismiya? Ismiya. Ismiya, excellent, you are correct. And that means you must have two things. What are the dosa? I knew you knew that. I was the easy one. Give him the hard one. I'm saving the hard one for him later so he doesn't get upset. Throw some easy ones at him first. Build up the confidence. Al Muftada is Alhamdu. Say it. Everybody good with that? Yes. Is it Marfu, Mansu, Majroor? Marfu. What is the Alamat al Rafi? Excellent, Yusuf. Is Al Dhamma. What type of Dhamma, Yusuf? Is it? Al-Zahira or is it hot? Is it mahdoof? Is it hidden? No? Let's say. Excellent. Where's your khabar? Allah. Allah? Lillah. Oh, Lillah. Lillah. So this is actually Lam Li Allah. Say it. When you put them together, you drop the alif lam, so it becomes lillahi, like this. Okay? So this is actually jar majroor. The love of Jalala is majroor because the lam. What type of lam is it for you guys who are in my dars, karlumah to itiqad and fatiha and nukhba and everything else that I've taught and began with alhamdulillah and drilled this into you guys so many times. Larsa. Ikhtisas. It's not milkiya. Yani exclusively Lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tayyip. So is that your khabar? Yes. Yes. Who Lillahi, agrees? Yes, it is. Yes. yes. Oh, man, Abdul Rahman agrees. Now it's got to be. Yeah. Everybody agree on that? Yeah. Yes. Any khilaf between the ulama here? No. How come it's not marfu? No. 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 Excellent. So what type of khabar is it then? Huh? Shibh Jumla. Excellent. Do you know that or is it just because we're going down the chart? It's Khabar Shibh A Jumla Shibh Jumla It's like a Jumla but it's not complete Right? If you say Lillahi by itself Or An Abi Or Ala Kursi it's like a sentence, but it's not a complete meaning. So, so in Arabic we call it shibh jumla, يعني it's like a jumla. طيب? And that can be the khabar. Because if you put it together, does it make sense? Yes. yes. Does it bring you some news? Does it enrich your knowledge? Yes. So it is a complete sentence. It's a jumla ismiya. Your mubtada is alhamdu. And the lam, al ikhtisas, and the lafz al jalala. Together, make up your khabar with the shibhi jumla. Yeah, that's fine. So now we have covered all types of khabar. Khabar mufrad, khabar al jumla ismiya, khabar al jumla fi'liya, khabar shibhi jumla. And that is the four types of akhbar that you have in Arabic language. Thank you.
We've given examples from the Quran for each one of them. Now, your homework, inshallah. I want you to make for me 50 sentences. Yes, I, I said that right, 50. And I'm giving you a whole week. You know, when I was studying, uh, and this is a witness from my teacher, uh, Sheikh Abed Rahman, if he ever watches this video, he used to give us crazy homework. It would be like, find 50 examples of Jumla Ismiya in the Quran by tomorrow morning. And then we would be up till Fajr trying to find all these examples in the Quran, or it would be like, write a hundred sentences by tomorrow morning and make Arab of them. Or he would give us like ayat and surah, the, a whole surah, make Arab of it without looking in the books of the Arab. And he would make us do that by the next morning. I'm giving you a whole week. And your easy, 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 easy homework is make 50 sentences. They can be either ismiya or fi'liya. No shibhat jumla. So if you begin it with a fi'l, like daraba, uthmanu, zaydan. Where is zaydan for me to be? <laughs> so, then that's going to be a jumla fi'liya. If you put uthman, jamilun, then that's going to be the truth. And it's going to be a jumla ismiya because it starts with the ism. So, you're going to go make 50 sentences and then you're going to write with it whether it's jumla ismiya or jumla fi'liya. You're going to write with it where is the muqtada, where is the khabar, where is the fi'l, where is the fi'l. Got it? Yes. Everybody got it? And on top of that, inshallah, you have your next uh, vocabulary words. If you need help with that, you can come earlier. But the Rahman is here to help. And you can come on Thursday. You're going to be up Thursday? After Isha as well, inshallah, our co-teachers will be helping out, inshallah. Jazakumullahu <laughs> khair.